In this lesson, we will define stoichiometry and use mole ratios to calculate the amount of reactant or product given the amount of a different reactant or product. Please have your calculator and note sheet handy. We use stoichiometry to relate quantities of reactants and products to one another. Stoichiometry derives from Greek, stoichian for element and metron for measure. The quantity that we are going to talk about specifically is the mole. In chemistry, the mole is what we use to talk about numbers of particles. The coefficients in a balanced chemical equation can tell us about the ratio of moles of the reactants and products. So the nitrogen has a coefficient of 1, so we can think about that as 1 mole. The hydrogen has a coefficient of 3, so we can think about that as 3 moles. And the ammonia has a coefficient of 2, so we can think about that as 2 moles. But what if we didn't have 1 mole of nitrogen? What if we had 5 moles of nitrogen? Well, we could use the ratio given by the coefficients to determine the number of moles of the other reactant and the product. To get from 1 to 5, we multiply by 5. So let's do that to all of our other coefficients. So 3 times 5 is 15. We have 15 moles of hydrogen for 5 moles of nitrogen and 10 moles of ammonia for 5 moles of nitrogen. Now let's say we had 6 moles of hydrogen. The original coefficient on hydrogen is 3, but we have 6. And we can get from 3 to 6 by multiplying by 2. So I'm going to take the coefficient of 1 for the nitrogen and multiply it by 2. I get 2 moles of nitrogen. And the coefficient of 2 for the ammonia, I'm also going to multiply by 2. So I have 4 moles of ammonia. I have just looked at the relationship between quantities of reactants and products by using the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. These coefficients represented a mole ratio. This is stoichiometry. Now let's try some sample problems. We have a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. The question says how many moles of hydrochloric acid are needed to completely react with 4.50 moles of magnesium. So we don't know the hydrochloric acid, but we do know that we have 4.50 moles of magnesium. I'm going to use the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation as a mole ratio to help me find how many moles of hydrochloric acid would be needed. There are a few different ways that you can go about calculating this. The first way is using a proportion. There is a 1 to 2 mole ratio between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. There are 4.50 moles of magnesium and an unknown number of moles of hydrochloric acid. Solving the proportion, I get 9.00 moles of hydrochloric acid. And this is the answer to the question. For significant figures, I'm using the same number of significant figures that I started with in my 4.50 moles of magnesium. This is multiplication and division, so I'm going to round my answer to a certain number of significant figures. In the next problem, we want to know how many moles of hydrogen gas will be produced if 2.50 moles of calcium hydride react according to the following equation. Let me show you another way that you can work these problems and this is the way that I would recommend. I'm going to do factor label starting with my 2.50 moles of calcium hydride and then I have to set up a factor uh, to cancel my moles of calcium hydride and find moles of hydrogen. I use the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation as my numbers and my factor. I get 5.00 moles of hydrogen. 
Again, I did three significant figures to match the three significant figures in 2.50 moles. And finally, we want to know how many moles of water will be produced if 0 0.400 moles of oxygen reacts according to the following equation. And using that same equation, we'd like to know how many moles of carbon dioxide are produced and how many moles of benzene are produced, C6H6. I'm going to use factor label again, starting with my 0 0.400 moles of oxygen. I want to cancel my moles of oxygen, and the coefficient in my balanced chemical equation is 15. And I would like to find moles of water that would be produced. My coefficient in front of my water is 6. My moles of oxygen cancel, and I'm left with moles of water. The answer is 0 0.160 moles of water. Now for the other questions in number four. There are two questions, so I'm going to set up two factor label problems. For the moles of carbon dioxide, I need to use 12 moles of carbon dioxide for every 15 moles of oxygen in the first problem. And then for the C6H6, the benzene, I have 2 moles of that for every 15 moles of oxygen according to the coefficients in my balanced chemical equation. The moles of oxygen cancel in each problem and then we just need to do the calculations. Okay, we get 0 0.320 moles of carbon dioxide produced and 0 0.0533 moles of benzene reacted. Remember this zero right here does not count as a significant figure. I would highly recommend using this factor label method for your stoichiometry calculations as it will come in very handy later on in this unit. So hopefully after watching this video you now know how to perform stoichiometric calculations using relationships between quantities of reactants and products, the mole ratio that is indicated by the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation.